Are you tired of wrestling with mountains of paperwork and sifting through endless PDFs? What if I told you there is a game changer that can turn that chaos into clarity? Welcome to the world of Gemini API, the revolutionary document processing powerhouse. In just a few minutes, you will discover how this incredible tool can handle not just one, but multiple documents simultaneously, transforming your workflow like never before. Imagine processing 1000 page PDF in a single call. It's not magic, it's technology. Whether you are in finance, legal or research, the Gemini API is your new best friend, helping you automate summarization and extract insights with just a few lines of code. Say goodbye to manual labor and hello to productivity. Are you ready to unlock the features of Gemini API? So stick around, hit that subscribe button and let's dive deep into harnessing the potential of document processing like never before. Because trust me, this is one journey you don't want to miss. Here I am on my Visual Studio code and the first thing I'll do is that I'll you know open my terminal and I'll write python3 hyphen m venv venv it will create a new virtual environment once the environment is created I'll source into or you can say activate my virtual environment this command can be different depending on your operating system now you can see I'm inside my virtual environment the first thing we will do is we will install the Google Gemini or Gen AI package. I'll hit enter and it will install the Gen AI package. Then I'll say pip install python hyphen dot env. This will help me read the environment file. Now I will create dot env file and we will go to my browser and go to aistudio.google.com here when you log in with your google account you will find a button to create api key i'll hit on it and it will ask me to associate a project with it i'll you know associate one of my project which has billing enabled and I'll say create API key. I'll copy this. Now I'll move forward here and I'll say Gemini underscore API underscore key and I'll paste this. We are using this dot env file to hide the variables. Don't share, you know, sensitive information on GitHub or anywhere that you don't trust and don't worry about me sharing this key i'll you know delete this key once i record the video now my gemini api key is you know stored and let's move forward to the development part i'll create research.ipy notebook and here i'll select the kernel first and I'll select the Python virtual environment on which we are at this moment. So let's, you know, first try to do few things. I'll say from dot env import load and find and I'll say load and I'll say find this will help yeah let me install this few packages for jupyter notebook and this will help us read the environment file i'll say import os and i'll say gemini underscore api underscore key equals to os dot get env and i'll pass the variable name okay now we have the api key with us so let's say 
from Google import gen AI and I'll say client equals to gen AI dot client now there are you know two ways you can do it first either export this uh, Gemini API key using uh, this command okay and that will be a system command so i'll write this okay either you export your uh, api key otherwise what you can do is that i'll say api key equals to my gemini api key and we have the client this google document processing capability or capabilities supports you know different types of file format like pdf javascript python txt uh, html css markdown csv xml and rtf so let's you know look into first few uh, examples so here is uh, an example and for that i'll need to uh, install pip install httpx and I'll freeze the requirements as well into requirement.txt file so that you can implement that so this is a PDF file okay provided in the example itself and I'll come here and let's see what's there in the PDF file you can see it is a kind of a big PDF file because it's taking time to load you can see huge amount of data is you know being transferred and you can see 28 pages and there are images okay uh, kind of table again images okay images and references okay so this is the information we are looking into and we are saying that you know summarize this document and we are using gemini 1.5 flash and you can see here in the content it's take uh, the data and the mime type which is application pdf and the prompt itself so let's run this yeah, we faced an error missing key in api key provided where it is oh my bad i need to get rid out of this and I don't need this because we have already initialized the agent or the client basically you can see we have a concise summary of the document like 29 pages I guess and you know you can read that it's you know about alpha fold a new protein structure prediction system and bunch of other information so you can see that it is so much powerful yeah it takes time because you know it needs to download the information and then you know go through the information it takes time but you know it is very helpful let's look into few more other uh, things about the Gemini API let's move into another example where you know we'll see how to load the information locally for let's not use this not this as well so we are going to you know first download the information you know save it as a file dot pdf then you know here we will you know provide uh, the file path and you know read the bytes from it and provide it as our data and again the mime type will be uh, application pdf and let's run this so when i run it you will see that here uh, file dot pdf will be created yeah you can see file dot pdf is created now it goes into this part and you know it will respond with the text as you can see this paper describes alpha fold okay so you can see it you know works very well and uh, let's move 
to another part where we have you know large amount of information that we want to feed into and for that let me grab a few amount of code here again i'll not going to use this and these two things as well so now this is you know very large amount of information you can see 618 pages again provided by uh, google in the documentation itself and it's you know kind of a scan pdf you can see it's a kind of a scan pdf and it is something about you know uh, nasa apollo 17 mission and you know final flight plan and stuff like that so let's here what we will do is that gemini client also provides a facility to upload a file once file is uploaded you know we will you know pass the the information of this you know uploaded document as a argument with our prompt and you know it will do its work let me run this oh my bad it says that it got unexpected argument oh my bad it's not path but it's file itself yeah so when we run it what will happen is this file will be you know downloaded and it is uploaded once it is uploaded you know we will use the uploaded file into the uh, prompt itself or the in the content itself with our prompt and then you know we will have our summary it's obviously going to take some time yeah you can see this is the information this is apollo 75 final five plan okay and you know bunch of information but the important and you know interesting thing here is that it is scan document okay you understand how you know difficult it is to get information from scan pdf we can you know do the same thing with you know we did with this large amount of information we can do the same thing if the large amount of information is you know kind of a on local file system so what we will do is that and this will not take okay so what we will do is that we will first download the information into a pdf file in my local system then you know upload the file and then we will try to summarize the file and here instead of summarize the document i'll say prompt and i'll hit run so the first thing it will download the file here is the file then upload the file and once it is uploaded it will summarize the information i'm sure uh, you understand that instead of you know just summarizing the information you can ask a particular kind of question itself you can see that it has summarized the pdf into concise information now let's look into one more use case of this google gemini api and it is using multiple pdfs so let's say you have multiple pdfs let's you know look into both the information you have two papers uh, the first one is about 90 pages and the second one is about 154 pages by google deep mind on gemini 1.5 unlocking you know uh, multimedia understanding it has obviously graphs and tables obviously there will be equations as well and this is gemini a family of highly capable multimodal uh, models so let's see here that what we'll do is that first we will upload both the file once the files are uploaded we can you know pass into content 
the multiple files the file one file two and we will ask uh, what's the difference between each main benchmark between these two papers output this in a table and let's see what happens you can see that since it is in my jupyter notebook it is not quite uh, in readable format though it is there but you can see that you know it has very uh, efficiently provided all the different uh, things in table format but if you know if i copy this into a markdown cell i guess we will be able to see a table yeah you can see we are you know seeing a table and it has you know um, i guess captured all the points so you can see how beautiful this is now let's move forward to you know seeing all the files that we have uploaded on the client so when i'll run this you'll see that i have four files that i have uploaded you can you know delete the files as well one thing here to note is that when you you know store information on uh, google cloud platform you know you will be charged for it so make sure you you know don't store information on google cloud uh, gcp platform or gemini interface unless you want to use those information so i'll you know uh, let's do one thing instead of doing this i'll do this and i'll say this thing and then instead of doing this i'll say f dot name and delete and let me run this meanwhile there are few other informations available on you know this official documentation about you know caching the information so that you know you can talk to the information with speed as well and you can list the caches uh, update the caches and even delete the caching as well so i hope you know this is uh, useful to you i hope that you have gained some knowledge out of this video and you know now the possibilities are endless you can build you know front end applications that uses this uh, in back end and you know do different stuff uh, it is available in python uh, node js typescript go and as a rest api as well in case you use any other back end uh, than these three so i hope that you know this helps you get forward and you can build uh, your application on top of this in case you have any question please get back to me in the comment section of this video i'll surely you know get back to you as well if this video is helpful to you please consider subscribing to my channel that helps enjoy the life feel the music peace